The canal presents an opportunity for wildlife and ecology and biodiversity. And if we let the water levels drop too far, that can cause problems for boats uh, getting stuck on the bottom. But also it can start to cause some real harm to fish if we get high temperatures and low dissolved oxygen. So that can cause a real difficulty for fish health and we might need to do fish rescues if, if that really persists as a problem. I'm here at Barrowford Reservoir, which is one of the reservoirs we use to supply the Lees and Liverpool Canal. And as you can see here today, the water level is pretty low. In fact, very low. Normally, when the reservoir is full, it'll be right up here. The reservoir has been used a lot this year. It's now only 20% full. And the reservoir is designed basically to keep the lock flight filled up and also to allow boats to pass through the locks. So whilst we've got enough water to maintain the lock flight, we certainly haven't got enough left in the reservoir for boats to go through the locks. The good news about a uh, restriction to navigation is that the towpaths are still very much open for business, open for customers on bikes, walking, uh, joggers and so on to enjoy. So when we close the canal to navigation, we're mainly closing the lock flights themselves. So the actual canal pounds, as you can see, have still got water in and boats are still moored and still able to move in the canal pounds. They just can't travel through the lock flights. So when it rains, hopefully the canal levels will start to uh, replenish almost immediately, but then the reservoir levels will quite often be uh, more, more delayed in terms of their response. Reservoirs are large bodies of water and take a long, can take a long time to recover. Um, often we need to get a direct hit of rainfall right into the reservoir catchment to enable the reservoir level to recover. We really encourage boaters to, whenever they go out boating, be, be careful with their use of water. And we've published on our website lots of helpful tips and guidance on saving water. Just simple things like sharing locks if there is a, another boat that can pass through the lock with you. Or perhaps if the lock gate is set in favour of an oncoming boat to uh, wait for that boat to come through to make the, make the best use of the water. And also we'd also encourage any boaters to make sure they leave the lock paddles and gates closed after use and um, report any major problems to us as soon as possible so our local teams can get out and try and resolve them.